Recording in progress. All right, next we're joined by forward Natasha Howard. Start with questions in the room, please. Zoom. Please use the raise your hand function. We'll get to you guys right after we finish in the room. How did you, Coach said that the team was a lot more connected tonight. How did you see that from your perspective? We were. I wasn't complaining. I wouldn't even need to do. Uh, but I feel like overall we stayed together. We was connected, offense and defense. And, uh, you know, it's kind of something, you know, the Blues lose a close game like this though but at the end of the day we, we gave all everything out there left on the floor you have another game high class you have a, a game friday last home game on friday mm -hmm. talk about the mindset getting ready for friday night well we're gonna put this game behind us starting tonight uh we off tomorrow so you know everybody can get a break from a little bit from basketball a little bit and you know, focus on Seattle starting on Thursday, and uh, and also get, definitely need this win on Friday against Seattle. And uh, you know, like that's the main important game, part, important part right there. Just you know, just us staying together. You know, don't let, don't get too high, don't get too low. Just stay, just stay in the middle. So that's the thing that we've been doing this whole season. Just staying calm and you know, weathering through the storm. Thank you. Hey Tosh, kind of going off that. First off, really like your shirt. Thank um, you. <laughs> secondly. <laughs> Um, obviously a walk started tonight, and I think you know you you really gotten to see more from her over the last month. Um, you know, what, how's your impression changed of her since you maybe first saw her in camp, or you know even from your time in New York to, to where she's at now? Um, I already knew Kay could do what she can do. Uh, I seen her play overseas. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I just feel like Kay just needs that little that little um that little uh, confidence. You know, that boost right there. You know, mm -hmm. I tell her like you know we need you. Uh, Every day, I, I tell her day in and day out that we need you and stuff like that. And I feel like she's starting to understand e everything that we need from her, and she's in and she's confident now. Like mm -hmm. that's the main thing that with her, she's very confident now, and like we all know what she's capable of doing on both ends of the floor. And we're really excited about what she's been doing in the past couple of games. Awesome, appreciate it. Hey, you, oh, had, oh, sorry, you had five players tonight in double digits. The team shot over forty nine percent tonight. How do you? What did you guys see out there tonight? What the defense was giving us, like we took full advantage of, like pretty much everything that New York tried to throw at us. Like we just played with a high speed uh, pace the whole game, like and uh, like we played, we played hard. Like we played hard, and we and we knew like where everybody's gonna be at tonight, and and that's a good thing about that. How we were just rude and connected, like I said before. Um, it was just amazing, like of, of the way we were performing tonight, and and how we just we just everyone for. You talked about a walk, but obviously Tierra and Kalani are part of that front court too. As they're a little younger and you're a veteran of the team, what have you been saying to them all season, and what have you seen from the group as a whole as the season has gone on? Um, like I need y'all. Like I, like I, to be honest, I need like I, like I, like we just need each other. To be honest, that's the thing for me. Is being a better of this team, I just uplift uplift my teammates. No matter what, like if they're in a bad mood or whatever's going on, like I'm gonna always be there. Like you got it. We need you. Come on, shake it off. Like the next play, whatever. And I feel like when I talk to them and tell them what I need from them, they 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 do it. So and overall, the team. Like, I feel like everybody listen, listen to me. They listen to Odyssey as well because she's a veteran on this team as well. So um, I feel like anything that we say, anything that anybody say, we all listen and we all buy in. Hey, Flash, um, you know, with the 40-game season, I mean, tonight was 38th game. Last season, the first round of the playoffs completed in August. Just want to get your own thoughts on where you're at mentally, where you're at physically, and just – what are your what's your personal thoughts on the extended season? Um, I like it to be honest. The way how the WNBA is actually extending the season even more and stuff. So I think that's a really good uh, a good thing for the WNBA for us as a whole. Uh, just extending more games for us, you know, having us a long season and give us a good time for us not to go overseas. So, <laughs> sure. but uh, you know, it's really good though. Like me mentally, I'm I'm fine. Uh, I'm happy on and off the court. Um, physically, my body's fine. I'm healthy. Keeping that, keeping it that way. Uh, but yeah. Good in the room. Rafiq, go ahead. 
This is about people nothing but that sports talk. Obviously, he couldn't win the game, but at the very least, he managed to win the rebound in battles. How helpful would that be going into the game against the Seattle Storm and the rest of his playoff push? They're going to be very important. Like, I feel like we've been like kind of slacking on the rebounds on both ends of the floor in the past couple games, but like lately, like today, we've been like we picked it up. So um, it's going to be really important uh, because Seattle has some good rebounders on their team, even posting guards. So we got to make sure we just uh, box out. Box out pretty much box out everybody and just go up with the go up with the rebound with two hands. Good luck on the playoff push. Christian? No. Hey Clash, we talked all season about the front court and the passing ability. Uh you had eleven assists a couple games ago, I believe. Uh but you had five tonight. That's tied the second hot chat in the season. Of those five tonight, three of them went to uh, Tierra, I believe, and the other one went to uh, I think it was uh Lock. I guess we talk about it all season. Are you guys looking to build that man going into the playoffs? Absolutely. When you swing the ball side to side and somebody knocks down a shot, like that's that's good. That's good for us. And I feel like lately we've been doing a really good job of uh, getting assists, swinging the ball, uh, making the defenders move from side to side, and like getting getting the other team out of position. So uh, I feel like we've been doing a really really good job of sharing the ball and. Uh, because they're going to really definitely, we're going to definitely need that in the playoffs because the playoffs is not another level instead of regular season, so. Thank you. All right, we'll be back with Satsu. Thank you. Thank Josh. you.